Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new here, my name is Maddie Ellen. Thank you so much for watching. So today, um, you know, is day 100 and whatever in quarantine. So I figured why not let's just do our makeup together, have a good time, take our mind off of being bored as hell. And I do have some new products to try, so I figure what the heck, let's do it. All right, you guys, so I did get a couple new things I wanna try um, from this month's BoxyCharm. Um, starting with, I have the Benefit uh, the Pore Professional Primer. So it's smoothing face primer to minimize the look of pores. So I got that. I want to try that out. Let's start off with. So I'm gonna use my Wet n Wild Coconut Three in One Primer Water. It's supposed to be a primer. You can set your makeup. Blah blah blah. I just love the way this smells. I don't know where my fan went. Lost it. Um, so we'll start with that. If you notice, my hair looks short, like it's freshly cut. Mind your business. <laughs> Desperate times. Okay. So now we have the Pore Professional. This is what it looks like out of the box. I don't think I've used this before because it's not something I have ever bought. So this is what it looks like. I thought it would be white, but it's kind of a yellowy texture or color. And we're gonna just put it around anywhere we have pores, like bigger pores that you wanna kind of minimize. I know a lot of people use this. I've seen on YouTube. I just not, just not something I personally have invested in. I have a giant pour over here, so let's see if we can fill her up. You can actually see it, like looking in the mirror, you can, I can tell that uh, a lot of things are blurred actually, so that's nice. Let's put it here. Smooth. It actually kind of takes away the shine too. You can notice that. Kind of mattifies it. All right, that's different than I thought. For some reason, I didn't think I was gonna like this, but like I said, I don't know that I've actually ever tried it, so who knows? Maybe it's a win. I also have these two little sponges from Hank and Henry that I got in my BoxyCharm, and this set of brushes that are very cute. They remind me of a thing of color pencils. So, they're really cute. The, the bristles match the color of the actual brush handle too, so we'll use those. And then the other thing I have is the Zoeva Caramel Melange Palette. And just a super pretty neutral, but still fun palette. So we're gonna use that today because I've been wanting to give her a try. So lots of new things. Um, what do I wanna do now? I found this Milani Soft Focus Glow Complexion Enhancer, so I figure maybe let's pop that on. Oh, oh, I know. I've had this problem before. It's not a twist. So I'm gonna put it on the back of my hand. Ooh, she had some, she's crusty. It's crusty and dusty. Ooh. Let's see what she looks like, okay. So let's just pop her over here. Anywhere you want, like a little extra glow under your foundation. We can do a little bit above the brow. You could probably use this like on its own. See how it gives you that kind of like nice luminous. You could probably use it on your like on a no makeup day where you just want a little bit of glow. So I kind of looked through all my, not looked through each piece, but I looked over general amount of makeup I have and it is a lot. There's probably stuff I need to throw out because it's old um, that I just haven't, but <sighs> maybe I'll do one of those videos where you do a full face of expired old ass makeup and see what happens. If you're interested in that, let me know. Okay, next. I have to pick a foundation. I don't know what I want to use today. I have so many that I neglect. Let's go in with the Flower Beauty Light Illusion 
luminous makeup, nude skin feel, all day wear makeup. And what is the color? Is there a color in here? I don't know. But I guess it has SPF 18 in it, so that's good. So let's use this. I don't know if this is the right color for me, to be honest. I don't remember. It's been a while. So I'm saying I have so much makeup that I buy and then I don't use it. And it's kind of a waste, of course. So I'm just going to drag this around my face. And let's try this big old sponge out and see. It's soft, but it's not like the softest thing I've ever felt. Let's get some more product over here. So I tend to be really red kind of around the edges, the perimeters of my face, but my temple, my jaw, I don't know why, maybe it's hormones. Who the hell knows? So I will say, I think I like the sponge, like it's not too hard. Um, put some more foundation in. I haven't filmed in like a hot ass minute because I don't wear makeup ever because there's nothing to do. So I will say when I put on makeup, I do feel like better and more productive, but or feel more like a human than a slug. <laughs> it's weird times. Weird times. What are you guys doing to kind of fill in your quarantine vibes? One, are you working? Are you working from home? Um, are you not working? I obviously am still not working because I got laid off right before all this shit happened. So I am... Um, it's like damn near impossible to even, I don't even think people are really hiring right now, so. So yes, I am still unemployed, waiting for the extra unemployment monies to kick in, because that'll be very helpful. But. Okay. So the other thing, I guess, while in quarantine, I'm focusing on Obviously, or not obviously, but for those of you who don't know, I am pregnant. I am four months or 16 weeks, technically 17 weeks today. Um, so we've just kind of been kind of focusing on staying healthy, eating better, staying hydrated. Um, I'm really limiting where I go if I go anywhere. Lately, I've been wearing a mask and, you know, just trying to just be cautious. I am also an asthmatic, so... That plays a whole other role into all of this. Which I'm not necessarily super scared of like the virus itself, but people's reactions to it is definitely alarming and the media doesn't help. And I think it's important that you kind of just formulate your own opinion and do what feels right for you and your family. You don't necessarily take everything at face value. Um, so that's just my little tidbit um, having worked in healthcare for a while I never once got sick and thought that it was from a patient so if you just pr kind of properly you know wash your hands and, and just be you know smart about it don't go licking park benches and shit like you'll probably be fine but anywho so I am you know trying to stay you know we are obviously practicing social distancing we don't really have a choice there's nothing open <laughs> but um so it's kind of worked out, it's giving me a chance to kind of just really chill out and not stress. It's inherently when you work generally you stress about different stuff and that's not great for pregnancy. So it's been nice. As much as I don't like not working and kind of providing for my family, it's important that I, you know, kind of really nurture this pregnancy and make sure I'm doing my part because, you know, I did have a miscarriage a couple years ago and I don't ever want to go through that again. It's very scary and sad. So, anyway, uh, so I'm just trying to, you know, look at things from the bright side and look at this as a good thing and a way to actually just relax. So I haven't not had a job since I was probably like 13. So this is the first time I've been like unemployed, not working, but 
it's all good in the hood the base is looking good i used the elf um, hydrating camel concealer i've really been enjoying this it's like six bucks at the drugstore and i just love it because my under eyes are super dry and this just makes them look healthy and not like super old and it doesn't really crease too much so and i like these little sponges they're actually pretty nice i didn't know how they were going to be but moving on okay so i just did my brows off camera i did it using my well people nudist one eyeshadow palette this is what i use all the time i just use this middle shade it works perfectly for me and my brows and i also use this little brush the dual ended um this dual ended guy has like a spoolie on this end and an angled brush on this end that came in my boxy charm from the brand lavish and i really liked it so good i used a little bit of the magic setting powder under my eyes and my eyelids i didn't use it all over because my skin was already kind of dry so and then i just set everything again with my wet and wild coconut primer water i want to try to use this laura mercier candle glow sheer perfecting powder in one it's just supposed to give you like a luminous finish to the skin let's see if i can find the right brush Picking the right brush is hard when you're when you're doing stuff like this. I don't know that that's the one. <laughs> if I use something super light and soft, maybe I'll just use this little guy here and see. I bought this a while ago and I obviously haven't used it. Well, let's see what it does. using it all over to get a nice healthy glow whether it's doing anything I can't tell <laughs> but I do think the base looks good especially now that we've kind of sprayed it down and given the moisture back to the skin um, what next I do need to put chapstick I think my lips are super dry they feel horrible is this one open? This is a little coconut lip um, lip balm from what is this place? Oh, this place called Basin, you know, in downtown. Um, what's it called? Downtown Disney or Disney Springs or whatever you want to call it. Anywho, so now let's bronze up the face, get some blur, some highlight. So I've been wanting to dip back into this Pacifica. A light and radiance powders it has everything you could need it's probably the best thing to travel with so you have two highlighters um, a bronzer and a blush bronzer and blush are both matte um, so let's just get into that what do I want to use I need a brush I'm gonna use this fluffy guy here for my bronzer these are also very um, pigmented so just so you know but I don't think this cost me more than like 20 bucks to be honest I don't remember it's kind of been a while but Pacific is a very affordable brand you can find them at Target um, on Amazon I'm sure and they have really nice uh, vegan products that always perform I love their concealer. I haven't tried, I tried their foundation once, but it was the wrong color. And so that obviously skews things. It gives, makes it difficult to really get a good idea of if you like it or not, because it's distracting. But look at how nice that is. Love it. Love it. You know how much better I feel and more normal having my hair cut? I looked like I was wearing a freaking red helmet. Okay, next, let's do blush. I'm just gonna use a blush in here. It's called Sunset Matte. So the, the bronzer is called Desert Matte. Uh, the blush is called Sunset Matte, also very pigmented. Just a really nice, easy, everyday palette to use. 
Um, but anyway, so I'm in my fourth month of pregnancy, and my first trimester, I have to say, was pretty, like, I would say textbook. I was nauseous. I was tired. Um, I was constipated, TMI, but it is what it is. Um, so, but I felt, you know, you just kind of appreciate all of it because... I, it's been such a struggle to get here and um, you know whatever comes I'll take it it's worth it so but yeah I felt I you know so far so good sometimes I still don't believe that I'm actually pregnant because it was just such a difficult and crazy journey to get here but I definitely am <laughs> my ultrasound on Monday show that there's definitely a baby in there and he or she is growing just right so I'm really excited. We're doing a gender reveal this Sunday, which will probably, this video will probably come out after that. Um, but as of right now, we don't know the sex of the baby. But we will in a couple days, in, tomorrow, technically. Um, so we're all very excited to find out. I think it's a girl. My husband says he wants a boy, but he thinks it's a girl, which I'll take. Um, I'd be happy with a girl or a boy as long as they're healthy. Um, but you know, I just picture myself having girls maybe because my parents had two girls. I don't, you know, we never had a brother, so it's not something we're used to. Um, but yeah, well, so we'll see. We'll see what happens. I'm just going to throw some brow gel in these wild ass brows. If anybody waxes and wants to come over here and help me tame these, feel free. Because they are wild. I think I want to try to wax them myself. Especially because I have microblading, so if it goes totally crazy, I still have a fake brow to like mask it all. But uh, I'm not, I'm not there yet. I'm not quite brave enough. But anywho, you see the highlight is just so cute. This palette is super worth it. Good brand, um, vegan, good ingredients, and really affordable. So. Highly recommend Pacifica if you haven't tried them out again. You can find them at um, Target. I think you could probably find them, I'm not sure, at other stores. That's just where I've looked. Um, but you can find them on Amazon and all that good stuff. So, highly recommend. 10 out of 10, would recommend. Alright, what's next? Finally, we're going to dip into the Zueva eyeshadow palette. It's just such a pretty palette. When I saw it, it came on BoxyCharm. I just was like, I need to use that. Cause sometimes I get palettes and you're like, eh, it's okay. This one I actually wanted to use, and this one retails for 28 bucks. 28 bucks. Smooth caramel shades for the taste of temptation. Fair enough, I'm tempted. So we'll be right back. I was looking at my brows up close and they look fucking wild. <laughs> Let's zoom in a little bit more so we can do the eyes. The ojos. Okay. Ugh, this palette is so friggin' pretty. I can't even deal with it. So I think the first thing I want to do is put this Universal Delight. Really nice, just neutral base color on. Ooh. Not a lot of kick up either, which is nice. By kick up, I mean the kind of loose powder that comes up when you dip into an eyeshadow. All right. Alright, so that was Universal Delight all over the lid. So next I think I want to use Alchemy, which is a kind of peachy, I don't know how to explain it, but it's more peachy I would say. Peach. Okay, I'm going to get a brush. Let's dip into her. Throw that kind of right in the same crease area. Yeah, these are just so pretty. I can't. Do you guys prefer neutral looks or do you prefer that like you guys can do every day or do you prefer kind of more fun wild looks that you maybe necessarily wouldn't do? Let me know down below. I'm more than happy to kind of do either just depending on what interests you. Ooh, she's so pretty. Now, I don't do super precise eye makeup. I can if, you know, that's somebody, some, something somebody wants to see, but it's just not like what I do. I prefer easy, breezy, B 
beautiful cover girl. Um, but if you want to see super precise stuff, I guess I can dabble, see what happens. So now I'm going to take this little lavish brush that also came in my set. So it's not used, it's just the bristles are dyed pink to match the stem. And maybe I'm going to dip into Start Soft, which is right next to Alchemy. This one right here is just a little bit deeper. Still in that like peachy warm tone family and I'm just going to go a little bit lower. Next, I say finished sensual, excuse me, we'll do this in the outer corner, we'll do it with a little bit smaller of a brush, maybe if I can find one, I could try this guy, I'll also use this guy, nah, maybe we won't use that guy, I'll use this guy, this is my color pop, I don't know, it doesn't have a number or anything, we'll just deepen up the outer. V a little bit. These are all blending really nicely together and easily. So then before we do the lid, I'm going to go with this guy. I'm going to run, I'm going to mix Alchemy and Start Soft with two peachy shades and run them down here. Oof, so pretty. Then I'm going to take Finish Sensual on this little pencil brush. It's a deeper one we just use and kind of just also go in. Oof, that's a scratchy. Nope. Nope. That's not happening. Ugh, it's horrible. All right, let's go with this guy. He's much softer. I know that for a fact. And then we'll go back up to the lid. I'm going to pick a lid shade. So we have this quad right here is all shimmer. So let's swatch them and see. So that's how we're looking. I don't know what I want to do, to be totally honest. Maybe, I don't know, maybe liquid center. They're all cool, I just don't know how. Or should we just, let's try this guy. This guy's just called wax paper and it's just white. Yeah, let's do that. So that's like a matte white shade. Let's do that on the lid because that's always cool too. Change of pace. I don't, I'm not feeling any of those shimmers for this look specifically. Like they're really pretty, but... I don't know that they're the vibe. It'll be a nice all matte look. Oh, my lids are like so sketchy right now. If you have the right matte shade, it really does pop. Like this one is great. Because you would think like with all that warmth, you maybe wouldn't, you know, wouldn't give off so much um, payoff, but it's actually really nice. I'm going to go back in with this guy and just kind of blend the edges of that. Soften it up. That's so pretty. I love that. Do we have a cool, like a proper, yeah. So eyeliner to go in the waterline. So let's do this nude one by ColourPop. Let's warm it up a little bit. This is... I can't tell because it's all worn off. I do have a white eyeliner from 100% Pure that works amazing. I just don't have it down here with me. Which is annoying. But... It is. Alright, let's put this little nude guy in the waterline. Did 
So the point of doing that, you can see it just opens the eye up a little bit, takes away the pink. And again, this is from ColourPop. So, we should throw something in the inner corner. Maybe we'll throw that little cream shade in the inner corner. Hmm, I don't know. Maybe we'll leave it. I don't know. Let's just do it. Let's do it and see. I'm just gonna take that same color wax paper that we put on the lid. Does that do anything? Mm, a little bit. In person it doesn't look like it, but on camera you can kind of see it's brighter. Yeah, see, it doesn't have to necessarily be a shimmer shade to go in the inner corner. All right, I'm gonna, I don't know, I'm gonna do something and I'll be back. All right, so all we have left is mascara and lip. I thought about maybe trying to put on a, a, a lash, but I don't know. I don't wanna do that to myself. So I'm just gonna curl my lashes. And put on some mascara. So I have two different mascaras I wanna use. I use one on each eye, we can see the difference. I have the Bambi Eye. Uh, mascara from L'Oreal. This is waterproof. And then I have the Mile High Club from Wander Beauty. So we'll go with the Bambi Eye first. One thing to just be warned with waterproof mascaras, if you don't know already, they're just more difficult to get off. <laughs> so just nice. So that's both Bambi Eye. Uh, Mile High Club from Wander. So I think they're both really nice. Uh, I'm not going to do my bottom because I just don't care. And I think, you know, sometimes I like just doing top. It makes everything kind of look a little bit more fluttery. What next? We have lip. Let me wipe off my chapstick. And so I have the Honey Bee Gardens Perfection Lip Liner. This is the best colored lip liner I've ever used. It is just, it's right here, the most beautiful color. It goes on so well. I wear it as a lips, like a lipstick all the time. I'll just fill in my whole lip and throw a gloss on because it's just amazing. Very reasonable. I don't think this was more than 10 bucks. It's a clean brand, Honey Bee Gardens. Um, you can buy their stuff on Amazon too, which is really convenient. Uh, so I highly, highly recommend them in general. But this lip liner, like, the name says it all. It is absolutely perfection for me. I just love it. So I'm going to line my lips with this. And then I'm going to fill them in with the Laura Lee Los Angeles um, liquid lip. Like, it's just so damn pigmented. You can't beat it. Like, she's so pretty. My lip line from having eczema around my mouth is totally jacked up. It's annoying, but it's okay. So, my favorite color from them is Jaybird. It's actually pretty similar to the um, lip liner, which works out. I got these out when she was having a sale. Her sales are amazing. She'll have stuff where these are only five bucks, but you can see the it's probably why I love them both. They like really tie into each other really nicely. So if I don't have one, I could just use the other and get the same effect. But uh, I just love it. Like it just doesn't get old. And then what I like to do is throw Nakey Nakey, which is like the lighter, more nude color in the center. blot it out. So these two together I highly recommend. Jaybird and Nakey Nakey. Love them. If I had to pick one I would pick Jaybird because I could wear it all on its own but Nakey Nakey is a nice like accent to that. 
Love it. And then last but not least, I have the my favorite gloss I've ever bought, ever worn, is the 100% Pure uh, Gemmed Lip Gloss in the color Rainbow Aura. It's on sale. I know they're discontinuing it because it's been on sale for a while. It's like 10 bucks. Um, but this is my second tube. I just got it because I use my other one up. I just it, I use it up by itself all the time because it's just the best consistency. And it's just beautiful. And she's not sticky, but she stays on long wearing. Like, I just can't get enough of her. I love it. And if they discontinue it, I'll be heartbroken. Anywho, this is today's look. I hope you guys liked it. I hope you guys just enjoyed hanging out, doing makeup, chit chatting about life. And yeah, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe down below and stay safe. Wash your hands. And next time I see you, we'll know if we're having a boy or a girl. Bye, guys.